In this video, we are going to go over the main interface of Premiere Pro. After opening Premiere and creating a project, the main window that comes up is called the workspace. The workspace is divided into frames. Some of the frames have multiple panels, which appear as tabs. There are many ways to arrange the frames as workspaces, depending on what you want to do with Premiere. The one we will be using is called the Editing Workspace, which is the default option. The Editing Workspace is composed of six individual frames. We will cover the basic function of each of the main panels. The upper left frame holds the Source Monitor. This panel lets you view the different media clips that you are editing. To see the other panels in this frame, click on one of the other tabs. The upper right frame holds the program monitor. This lets you watch the entire video project that you are working on. Unlike the source monitor, you cannot make changes to the media here. The project monitor is in the lower left frame. This lets you store the imported media used in your project and organize it using various bins. There are also multiple panels that one needs to click to view. One of the bottom middle frames holds the toolbar. This is a quick way to select tools to use in other panels. The timeline is the other bottom middle frame. From top to bottom, the timeline shows the video, image, and audio elements of your project. From left to right, it shows the timing. And the bottom right frame shows the audio meters. These show the volume of the left and right audio channels for your project. If you ever lose a panel, you can go to the Windows menu to open it back up. Then click and drag the panel to the left or to the right to move it. If your workspace ever gets messed up to the point where you can't configure back to what it originally looked like, just go to Windows, Workspace, and Reset Current Workspace. It should take it back to what it originally looked like. When you hover over the edge of a panel, a double-sided arrow should appear. Click and drag to make one of your panels bigger or smaller. When you click on a panel, a blue line should appear around it. That means the panel is active and the functions inside of it will be enabled. You can also maximize a frame, which can be quite helpful if you're working on a smaller screen. Just select the frame and go up to Window, Maximize Frame. Then, when you are ready to go back to the original size, go to Window, Restore Frame Size. There's a lot more information to be had on the interface, but this will be enough to get you started.